At this part of the Twinflex Pro video, we're now going to look at the connections within the panel itself. On the Twinflex Pro 2 zone panel, the connections are as follows. You have a USB-B port for connecting via your laptop to program the system with. Below that, on a 4 and 8 zone, you have two connect blocks for connecting your repeater panel or your mimic panels to the system. You then got a monitored input connection. This is primary function is for connecting additional conventional panels onto the system and triggering vice versa. And then below that, you got two unmonitored inputs which require a dry short onto the system to activate the fire alarm panel into a condition. On a Twinflex Pro 2 zone panel, you have two connect blocks to connect your Twinflex devices to the system. Below this, you then got your fault relay and your fire relay. Your fault relay will stay permanently energized until the system goes into fault or loses power. The fire relay will stay unenergized until the system goes into a fire condition and changes the relay state. Below this, you've got your two monitored output circuits. These monitored output circuits can be used for your conventional sounders. If you've taken over an existing system and you've already got conventional sounders in place, you can actually use these two circuits for the install. Below this, you've then got an auxiliary power connection. This auxiliary power can be connected to door mac locks or on a 4 and 8 zone, this can be used to power the repeater panel. Below this, you've then got your battery connections, which are connected to your two 12 volt, 3.2 amp hour sealed lead acid batteries, which will be connected inside the Twinflex Pro panel. And then below that, you've then got your power supply connected to the system.